Natural rubber is an important raw material. Especially for the production of tires it is irreplaceable. But many other everyday products also use natural rubber. For example mattresses, pacifiers, gloves or condoms. Natural rubber is mainly grown in Southeast Asia. How is the situation there? At the beginning of the supply chain there are mostly small holders like Andre. He grows natural rubber on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. For him and his family, selling natural rubber is the most important source of income. But prices have been low for many years. That's a problem for Andre. When he does not earn enough, he cannot afford much of what he and his family need. Medicines or school fees for the children for example. Recently, he even had to sell his motorcycle, with which he brought his rubber to the nearby factory. Now he depends on the local middleman. Over here, little is known about this and many other, also ecological effects of the cultivation of natural rubber. But in particular the companies that use natural rubber for the production of their goods or import it bear a great responsibility. So what can they do? One of the goals of the United Nations Sustainable Development Agenda 2030 is to promote decent work for all. A key player here is the economy. Companies need to find ways to control and track their supply chains and promote sustainable cultivation of natural rubber. For example, they could switch to sustainably certified natural rubber or set specific standards for their suppliers. For example, they would have to ensure that many smallholders like Andre have a secure income through bonuses or fair prices. The cultivation of natural rubber is thus related to social and ecological problems in the cultivation regions. The economy related to natural rubber must become aware of its corporate responsibility and act according to sustainability. Let us raise the company's awareness of their responsibilities and develop ways to fulfill them so that smallholders like Andre can work and live decently. Sutvent and the GNF are currently working on a project for sustainable procurement of rubber.